Hello and welcome back to Craptopia server. I'm your boy Kuru MT and today we are starting this episode in the shopping district where I'm actually standing on top of a uh, kind of newly constructed <laughs> walkway over here. Uh, yeah, this walkway will take us from uh, like my shopping area over here, this street. Uh, to our new builds on this side because I am planning to expand uh, my shopping empire over to this side and basically build some more buildings uh, on this line basically facing the ocean here kind of going for uh, kind of like a seaside maybe town feel over here something like that We'll see what we get from it, but yeah, I'm kind of ready uh, to do my first build in this area, so let's get to it. So this is what we have built. It's another small shopping uh, building and I think this build suits the area very well. Well again, I'm going with the same kind of like scale that I have for other shops. Uh, however, this time I'm choosing different block palettes using white wool, white concrete powder I'm uh, mixing in granites and the bricks and also for the roof I chose the nether bricks and red nether bricks which I think looks really good. Uh, yeah, here we have like a little area where you can just sit down and chill and look at the ocean. However, now <laughs> we have this ugly beacon in a way, but yeah, I will clean that up soon. If we go inside, we can read the name of the shop which is Madeira Flowerland and it's actually named after a uh, real life studio that my um, wife has so this is for her <laughs> uh, yeah what we what we are selling here we are selling all the two tall flowers basically we can pay one diamond for 32 and you can mix and match that means you can basically take either one kind of the flower um, for one diamond 32 or you can basically take like eight of these maybe 16 of these and eight of these or basically eight of every one whatever so whatever are your desires uh, but yeah basically one diamond 32 and here we have ATM a bit of decoration going on like curtains and stuff but yeah uh, now I think I will pay my attention to the outside and do a little bit of cleanup and maybe shoreline and maybe other decorational pieces. So let's see. We interrupt this programming to bring you episode from Groot's Life. Well, I guess I have made a perfect shop for the Groot, as he is a plant. She, he definitely feels uh, really good between other plants. <laughs> man, you are so funny. I absolutely like you like as a, as a member on the server, man. <laughs> Take a look at all this greenery. 
yeah, now we have a little bit of uh, decoration outside, like we have a custom tree in the background. And also, I made, uh, yeah, this little beach area. However, I still have my beacon here, because, yeah, I'm not gonna move it. We will, uh, we will do another project nearby. So, yeah, let's, let's fly around and see what we have here. Well, basically, this area is now connected uh, to the rest of my builds over here, so it feels it feels really good. And I mean, like whenever you add uh, trees in 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 the environment, it always makes uh, the area look better, and this is no exception. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this building with the shop in general yeah and I think I think I can start working on the next building that's going to be right here so let's uh, get some resources and uh, yeah do it <laughs> and uh, for my next uh, project I will use some blocks that I currently don't have uh, but I know that they are for sale in a shopping district and uh, actually we have to take this road over here uh, which is I believe built by Frowning Fawn and uh, yeah he's another streamer on Twitch so you can guys like check him out and this road takes us to his shop yeah we have like a custom uh, ocean monument there, it's a bit smaller in scale than the real thing uh, and uh, yeah, he's selling uh, all the prismarine stuff in there, so we should get some and by the way, yeah, I, I really like this road design that he has uh, made over here overall, as, as I keep saying, like, shopping district uh, has these roads now and yeah, it, it just makes it look much better, so much better <laughs> So, that being said, let's get into the water and, uh, yeah, let's get to the shop and the entrance is down here. Yeah, one of the blocks I want to use in my next build is actually a weathered uh, copper block. So, <laughs> I guess I kind of have to work on getting those. Uh, yeah, I will just like lay them down in this area and uh, hope that they will start turning um, while I'm building, I guess. Overall, it's it's not a big deal if they will not be like completely weathered as I will like place them down. Because uh, yeah, they will become like within a time, but yeah, it would be nice to actually have few to start with so yeah let's start building first thing uh, that I will do is actually count uh, I will mark out the area where the build will go basically I want to leave like three at least three block gap between like this building and the next one I will actually add four gaps from this point like one two three four and then I'm gonna place down the next wall, which will be right here. Also, I kind of have to keep in mind that we have this payment over here, so I'll leave another block in between. So that means one, two, three, four. We can build right here. This is the starting point, and I will mark out the first width for the first structure, first part of the structure, and that's gonna be like. One, two, three, four, five, and then another wall like this. Yeah, I have the rough idea of the shape in my mind. However, uh, I, I am not afraid to change it as I'm like placing uh, it down because sometimes environment just tells you uh, what kind of shape will suit the best for it. So, yeah, I, I don't like to get like my mind set to. Uh, too hard on like things. Two, three, four, five, one, and again one, two, three, four, five, and one. This could be like the 
it's also like that on the thing over here. So basically this is the base shape that I'm gonna be working with for this building. It's gonna be a little larger uh, than the previous one that I built, but yeah. Basically I, I was just I just wanted to show you guys like the first step of the planning that I usually do. I do these marking markings and then it's just all about like filling in the shapes. And of course I have like a rough idea in my head what kind of shapes I'm, I'm going to work with here. <laughs> I mean the next step is pretty much straightforward. I corrected the mistakes that I did while planning uh, on the first stage. But then yeah I just uh, mark out the height of the first level for the build. The next thing that I have done is I filled in all the walls and kind of figure out all the layout for windows and entrances and stuff like that. Now I have done the framework for the second floor and uh, next is going to be placing in all the floors, windows and stuff like that. So I have placed in all the glass on the floors and I also uh, started working on the roof design. If you go up, we can take a closer look to it. Yeah, we're gonna use prismarine and a little bit of uh, oxidized copper over here. So, I will get back to you guys when I'm basically done with the shape. <laughs> as far as the building goes for this project, I think we are done. Now comes the part that usually takes me around the same time as the building itself and yeah and that is detailing and actually uh, making their environment around the build so yeah I'm gonna get to it right away. Well hello there and welcome to Guru MP Real Estate Authors. Yeah that's right my friends we are in the market for our rental properties. So basically uh, I am done with this building and uh, the decoration and everything and uh, yeah this is what we have here. We have Guru MT real estate office and that means that I basically I have two, these two parts like these two rooms for rent. Uh, yeah basically I can explain you the idea. I also have like all of it like written down over here uh, how to actually rent a property uh, and uh, yeah the idea is that uh, a person can come here he reads the book uh, then he kind of like decides which parts of the building he wants to rent uh, then he comes here takes this book uh, writes in his name over here and uh, then uh, signs it and uh, and then, then yeah and then uh, takes it together with payment up here and puts it into the safe <laughs> basically that's the idea so um, yeah what what are we offering basically I'm offering uh, this room and it also has like a little bit of private area over here and some attic space right here. So basically for uh, 5 diamond blocks you can rent this place for the whole re uh, season. And the reason why I'm calling it renting business not, not just selling uh, is that I don't want people to actually modify the exteriors of these things. I want the exteriors to stay as they are, but they can decorate and put their stuff like in on the inside. That's okay. That's basically the rules you usually have with the rental places that you can basically like um, do some like uh, visual stuff on the inside, but basically you can't do like a grand <laughs> reconstruction of the thing. So yeah, that's why I'm calling it uh, the rental business. And uh, yeah, basically all of uh, both of these uh, rooms are the same, like kind of mirrored 
uh, images. So, yeah. Uh, let me just fly around over here and take a better look. So it fits on the street real nicely. It's actually one of the largest buildings that I have in this area. Uh, and I also have decorated like the back side of it a little bit. Just adding bushes and we have like the tree that I built before over there. And yeah, overall, I'm... I think like this this part of uh, kind of like a small city vibe that is going on here is really really good looking and I like it and that's good that I like it because I, I'm the one who built it <laughs> so yeah uh, but that being said my friends uh, we are not done with this area oh, oh we are not done there's one other thing I want to build here and I actually think that I'm gonna build that on a live stream. So yeah, I think uh, we're probably gonna come back when it's all done. Well, another project is done. Uh, yeah, I went on a live stream and I built this. Now we have a nice uh, fancy speedboat parked here near the uh, what would we call it? It's like uh, <laughs> Seaside Avenue <laughs> that we have going on here. And yeah, uh, over here we are uh, selling some stuff as well. And we are selling rods and fresh fish. Uh, fresh fish, of course, is a bucket of cod. And uh, rods. Rods are old rod, good rod, and super rod. <laughs> yeah, those of you who have played Pokemon games will <laughs> will know. <laughs> but that being said, uh, I think I'm finally like done with this corner of the shopping district, as far as my shops go. Yeah, I think like the next projects that I'm gonna do in, in the shopping district, I'm gonna do like on the other side of the uh, of this shore. However, uh, this has been like a very fun, very fun and interesting thing to work with. And I mean, like I'm really happy with with the result. Oh yeah, in the speedboat we actually have this control panel. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, also, this is episode 10 that I'm like making right now and I'm actually like pretty excited that I have done all 10 episodes on this server, server already and that's actually quite a lot for me because I have never done like a Minecraft um, series that would be lasting for 10 episodes and uh, yeah, I'm still not done. <laughs> so... Uh, that being said, I want to also like maybe in, invent like a new tradition for, for the episodes and I want to ask you guys a question. And uh, for the first question, uh, I think I'm gonna like make it real easy and I'm gonna ask you something as simple as uh, what is your favorite part of Minecraft? Like. For example, I myself consider myself uh, more of a builder, so building is what I find like the most exciting about Minecraft. Uh, but I also like tinkering with uh, Redstone projects a little bit. However, yeah, uh, what's what's the what's your favorite part of the game? You can just write it down in the comments. Uh, and also, that being said, I think I'm done with today's episode. And uh, yeah, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having uh, like <laughs> the best time in general. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you feel that this video deserves a rating, please leave a like and uh, yeah, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you want to see me working on Minecraft projects live and have a chat with me, find me on twitch.tv as GuruMT. And I think it's time for me to say goodbye. <laughs> have a good one in general and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.